Prop design is probably one of the more overlooked concept design roles by students, yet it can probably get you an industry job much faster. And today we'll be looking at ways on how to improve those skills. Hey art leads, welcome to the Artwatch channel, the program where we train our creative muscles on a daily basis. Now, most of you watching this video are keen on becoming concept artists. And usually your focus is character design, creature design, or environment design. But consider prop design as part of your repertoire as well. You see, prop design can be a great starting point to creating a professional looking portfolio and can probably help you prioritize key skills in your development as a concept artist. These skills include design, composition, functionality, and presentation. So next time you're thinking about starting a portfolio piece, consider creating props. Here are a few tips to help you create great prop designs. As always, start simple. I know you've heard this many times before, yet when it comes to actually designing anything, most of you forget this common fundamental skill. Starting simple will help you figure out so many problems and set up a framework for success. Whether you want to start with simple forms or a 3D blockout is completely up to you and your comfort level. And comfort is the key word here. In this phase, you want to feel comfortable experimenting with the placement of your forms, their relation and composition on the page. This will be your first win. Next up is the simple rule of design, big, medium, and small. Again, a very simple design rule, yet often overlooked. By starting with simple forms, you will be much more confident in the relation between forms and shapes. Therefore, you will be able to apply the rules of big, medium, small faster and with more confidence. Once you've set up your forms in an aesthetically pleasing manner, we recommend you pick a theme of your liking. If you're a beginner, pick something grounded with a lot of reference available. If you're advanced, have a go at something more challenging and imaginative. Once your theme is chosen, simply use good reference to redesign your simple blockouts. When it comes to the themes, do not try to reinvent the wheel. Instead, try to be creative within a fixed theme. Stick to the 80-20 rule. Use 80% of what already exists and add 20% of your flavor. You'll be amazed at the results and the fun you'll have doing it. Interestingly enough, bigger props like vehicles and buildings can be handled in the exact same way. Simple blockout, good proportions, pleasing aesthetics. Now lastly, if you are career focused, make sure presentation and functionality is considered with equal care. To do so, use the exact same process, but consider functionality of your props early in the blackout phase, so you can add pleasing aesthetics on top of the functionality and not try to retrofit functionality into your already established designs. Use your simple blockouts to fill out your page in a pleasing manner as well. You'll be amazed how much presentation can contribute to the perceived quality of your work. In short, consider props as a part of your portfolio. Start with simple forms using basic design principles, add functionality where needed, and stick to a single theme at first. This video is just a small fraction of a fantastic classroom that we have on this very topic of prop design. So if you'd like to know more about the principles discussed here today and many more, be sure to visit our online school at artwatt.com and start learning more efficiently to accelerate your creative career. Have fun and take care everyone.